Good morning, welcome back to the start of another vlog and the last official vlog of Vlogmas. That's kind of crazy to me. I mean, it's only December 16th, but this is the last vlog that will go up that is technically part of Vlogmas. Now, as of right now, I am still planning to continue the weekly vlogs, so there will still be vlogs, but this is the only one that is going to be while I'm at home in New York, doing Christmas things, opening advent calendars. Now. The next vlog will also include actual Christmas, but I will be home with my family. So it's just gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be my normal life. It's not gonna be necessarily as much of me talking because I'm gonna be spending time with my family. You've probably noticed that in other family related vlogs before. I do a lot less of like chatting with the camera and a lot more just like showing you what we're up to. So um, yeah, it's Monday morning. I had a great start to my Monday morning. No snooze button, got up, did the laundry before work. like. Are you impressed? I did that once when I was jet lagged and I was like, this is awesome. I don't have to fight anybody for the machines and it's so great. However, let me, let me show you. I didn't quite finish putting it all away before I had to start getting ready for work. Um, I could have probably hammered through it right now instead of chatting with you, but I'll just do it later. So this is a pile of stuff on hangers that I need to stick in my closet. Sam's stuff is all kind of buried underneath there. Those things are wet that need to dry. Really, I need to buy one of those racks to hang all my wet clothes on, but I freaking don't know where I would put it. Um, some more of Sam's clothes and piles. This stuff needs to get hung up. I did not tackle the sorting of the socks. And then this is my pile of stuff that's gonna eventually go in the suitcase. I've mentioned this before, but when I am traveling, when I do laundry before I travel, what I typically will do is just put everything that I want to pack in into the suitcase uh, like after it's clean instead of taking the time to fold it and put away and then take it back out. Now, sometimes it does mean it's going to sit in a pile for a couple days because I'm not packing for a few more days. But it's worth it to me to sacrifice the time to stare at that pile for the next couple of days. That's just, that's just how my brain works. So that is what that pile is. All right, let's open up the advent calendars before I head off to work. So we have, I already saw, I should avoid the people I know who open these on Instagram stories. I already saw today's tea on Instagram. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up taking it to work with me. Today is the 16th. We have a new color, it's brown, and it is a s'mores chai, rich, toasty, chocolatey. I have never heard of this type of tea before, but I'm assuming this is like the type of tea that chai tea is. Two caffeines, this bad boy is coming to work with me. Oh, also, I found, and by I found, I mean Sam found my green thing that goes inside my green teamy cup. I couldn't find it and Sam said it had fallen and it was in the dishwasher like underneath the dishwasher thing. Of course now I can't open it. Come on. Yay! So I'm not actually gonna make any here at home. Um, I'm just gonna throw the tea bag and the cup in my backpack and I'll make that with the hot water at work. Where is day 16? Oh, it's right here. It's this little one. I feel like this is a new size shape that we've never had before. Do I really think I'm gonna get this open with one hand? Let's try this hand. Da, da, da. Ooh, oh, guys, it's tape. It's, I mean, I don't know if I can use the word washi. We'll see what kind of quality it is, but oh my God, it's 
kind of washi tape. All right, this might have been worth it just for this. Let me get the plastic off. Okay, the quality isn't terrible. I mean, and it's actually washi tape, like the consistency, you know, as opposed to like a paper tape or even like a, a scotch plastic tape that would ruin paper. Um, and it's brown. It says property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry all over it. How freaking cute is this? Oh my gosh. It is a very skinny roll. Look how much is actually on that roll. But I'm so pumped. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm about to go on another one of my everything happens for a reason rant pages. I feel like these are pretty frequent where things happen and I'm like, oh, see, it happened for a reason. So obviously I was supposed to go see the windows last week. That was the plan. If you watch last week's weekly vlog, I was gonna go look at all the windows last week. Uh, but all of Saks windows and their light show is Frozen themed. And I don't think it really spoiled anything, but I definitely would not have appreciated it near as much without having gone to see a new movie. So I was meant to see the windows after I saw the movie. <sighs> it was beautiful. Well, I was hoping to see the world's largest menorah for all my Jewish friends, but turns out they don't have it up yet. Oh no. I thought like, well, it's not gonna be lit because Hanukkah is not for another week, but that it would at least be up, but it's not. So, oh well, I'm sorry, Jewish friends. I will not be in town any of the days of Hanukkah this year to show you the world's largest menorah that is usually outside the Plaza Hotel. I have one more store on my list and that is Bloomingdale's, which I heard this year is one of the best, so I'm really excited. And let's drive by this on the way home.
later than I intended to. So I had forgotten, well, I didn't forget about the gift exchange. So tomorrow is our department gift exchange. And I remember that that was happening and I took my gift to work actually today and I just needed to get something to wrap it in. I needed to buy a bag and I was like, I can get that. It's not a big deal. But I forgot until I saw the sign today at work that there was a ugly sweater component and you could wear jeans to work tomorrow if you also wore an ugly Christmas sweater, holiday sweater for said gift exchange. And I totally forgot. I don't own an ugly holiday sweater. And if I had paid attention to the sign, I would have just ordered one on Amazon and then I could have gotten one that actually I might have enjoyed, but also was ugly. But it was kind of too late. And so I thought about just being lame and wearing like a red sweater and calling it a day. But So I stopped at H&M on my way home. And of course I walk in and the sweaters are right by the door. The women's Christmas sweaters are right by the front door. But in order to get to the dressing room, I know they do this on purpose, I had to walk through the entire store. Can you guess how many extra things I picked up on my walk through the entire store? I picked up a couple other sweaters. I picked up like three or four dresses. I went into the fitting room with eight items. I came in for a Christmas sweater. I could have tried it on over my shirt without even going to the fitting room and it probably would have been just fine. But instead I waited in the fitting room line, tried on eight things, none of which fit, including the sweaters, and walked out of the fitting room like completely defeated. It was, it was awful. And so then I was like, you know what, I'm going to go check the guy section because sweaters are supposed to be oversized anyways. So I went to the guy section. First off, they had a lot more options for ugly Christmas sweaters. And I ended up trying on a guy's one just over this shirt and a small and it was perfect. Of course, then the checkout line was like 20 people long or something insane. So I had to wait forever to actually buy my $20 guy's Christmas sweater from H&M. But now I'm ready to go. Then I stopped at CVS to pick up pictures that I got printed and to grab wrapping, to grab a bag to actually put the gift that I took to the office in. So now I'm home and I'm debating between a couple things. Sam is out at an appointment meeting with clients. So my options are get a jump start on some editing. Not my favorite option, but probably beneficial. Work on my December daily because I got my pictures printed and I, I am excited about that option. Like I do kind of want to do that. Or option number three, I kind of want to just take a bubble bath. My feet kind of hurt from walking around all evening. I wore snow boots because it was supposed to snow today and it did a little bit during the day, but none of it stuck. Um, and they're not just, they're not the best walking shoes. So my feet kind of hurt and I kind of just want to take a bubble bath and read one of my Christmas books. I don't know. I'm gonna eat some dinner first. I just might quit some chicken nuggets because I'm five. And then I'll decide which one of those. It's probably not gonna be editing, let's be honest. I totally forgot that I left the bedroom like this. Remember this? Oh man. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna bribe myself. Power through and clean up the bedroom. Take a bubble bath. Good morning, here's the sweater that I bought at H&M yesterday. Guy's sweater, it's kind of cute, kind of ugly. It's really hot right now actually in this apartment. Um, I'm very much excited to go outside, but I'm all ready to go for a holiday party. I actually just took a self timer photo for my December daily. It was something that my friend Jen recommended in one of her blog posts about don't forget to include yourself in December daily. For her, it's her kids a lot that she takes pictures of and includes them. And not to say she's not including her kids, but like don't forget to include yourself. 
And so for me, it's just the effort of taking a picture that I'm a part of and either asking someone to take it or taking a self timer. So I wanted to picture my sweater and I could have done like a weird mirror selfie or I was like, no, let me set up my phone and do a self timer and then it will be cute. So I did that so I can get that printed for today's story and it's time to go to work. All right, I just got home. I had to immediately take the sweater off. It was so freaking hot. Um, it was just hot. The sweater was hot. The subway was crowded. Anyways, I just had to take it off. Um, also, my lipstick is a disaster, but I didn't realize it until I went to the bathroom at like 3.30, and I was like, I'm not refreshing it for two hours left of work. So this is where we're at. Um, a couple things. We're going to open up the advent calendar since I forgot to do that this morning. I'm also going to start opening two per day because I only have four days left until I go home for the holidays. And then there's four days after that, that I, that there's an advent calendar thing. So I'm going to do two a day today through Friday to get through the rest of the advent calendars. And then I'm going to shower because my hair desperately needs to get washed. So I'm going to wash it and let it dry while I work on everything else. I have some editing to do. I have some December daily to catch up on. I have a meal to cook. I did not go get my nails done today, which if you watched the plan with me, that was the original plan um, because I kept forgetting to call and make an appointment. So then I was gonna try and like rush home and just see if they could take me right away, right after work. And then I remember that Thursday, we have a team lunch. But when I say lunch, it's not until two because the intention is that we're gonna go, it's like a team holiday lunch. We're gonna go at two, it's scheduled from two to four on our calendars and then we're like done and we get to go home. So I think that my plan is gonna be to go like rush as soon as we're done with lunch. And since it's still before everybody gets off of work, I feel like they should be able to squeeze me in. So that's my plan. It does mean that if I do decide, which I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna film anything tomorrow, cause that was the original plan, my nails are not looking great. They've definitely grown out and a couple of them have chipped in a few places. Um, I could always do, I have one front facing video to film, so I could always do that one tomorrow. Although I do have one front facing video to film, so I could just do that one tomorrow cause then my nails, I mean, you could see them in a front facing video, but it's not like you're staring at my hands. The other four videos, is that right? Yes, four, oh gosh, the other four videos I need to film are all top down, so you like are staring at my nails, so I wanna wait. Um, can I get all those done Thursday evening? Most of them, like, they're not super long videos, so I should be able to, if I prep them on Wednesday night. I think that'll be my plan, is to film the one front-facing video Wednesday night, prep the Thursday video so that like all I have to do is come in here and then film, like just film all four of them. I should be fine. It's a busy week, and then I have to pack on Friday. Um, I already did the laundry though, so that's helpful. All right, let's do the advent calendars though. Today is the 17th, so let's open that one. Fruity Stress Relief, Tulsi Tranquility. It's a fruit infusion, no caffeine, but it's about stress relief. Oh, that sounds really good. I actually think I might make a small cup of coffee because I have a lot of things to do tonight, but then maybe after I will make that. All right, and then I think I'm gonna go backwards. So instead of just like doing 17 and 18, I'm gonna still like do 18 tomorrow, but I'm gonna start with 24, which is gold. It's like super fancy and gold. Oh, there's a coupon in here. 20% off, that's exciting. I like how it's gold. Santa's Secret Festive Peppermint Treat. It's a black tea, high caffeine. Oh, this is gonna be my morning tea and I'm already so excited. Going out of order, but I don't care. I'm excited to be able to enjoy my teas. Last year, they were in little boxes that actually closed. Like these are kind of like boxes slash drawers. And so I did take them all with me. And then I opened them as we kept going. But 
I also was just going to Chicago and then coming home. I wasn't going to three other places after that. So I am trying to pack as minimally as possible of extra stuff because I need that space for clothes. All right, Harry Potter. Stay 17 is right here. This looks like another eraser size, y'all. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, nope, it's empty. It is empty. It doesn't have anything in it. Uh, well, I don't really know what goes there. It probably fell down. Okay, well, there was something of this shape there. And then this, this floating Deathly Hollow sticker that I still don't know where it goes. All right, I definitely destroyed this advent calendar. And then we're gonna do day 24 because, again, going backwards. My watch is exploding. This advent calendar. Oh, this is actually a good one. Oh, look at this. It's a pen. Who knows how it writes, but it's an Elder Wand pen. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see. I'm sure it's not meant to write like anything magical. I mean, it's black ink. It's just a pen. It's a basic ballpoint pen, but it looks like the Elder Wand. I'm all about like a cute decorative type pen. That's fun. That was like the last day. Of course, I saved the best for last and I'm totally, totally jumping the gun. All right, let's put that back. So editing took me way longer than I thought it would, so I didn't really film any of my cooking because I just jumped right into it. But this meal is turning out to be very easy. So it's pasta, which is cooking. It's sausage with marinara and some spices, which is cooking. And then these zucchini spirals that I did with a peeler. Oh my God, it's so easy, so freaking easy. So these two things are gonna cook and then I'm gonna combine it, put the zucchini in there, let it cook a little bit and be done. I think one of the things I really wanna work on next year in terms of cooking, which is one of my big focuses for quarter one, is not feeling so pressured to have it be 100% perfectly healthy. Like what I would find myself doing is instead of doing pasta with zucchini, I would just do zucchini noodles. And then I would eat it when it's fresh, but then the leftovers never enticed me and I would feel, I just wouldn't wanna eat it and I would, eat out. I would go get something from the cafeteria or whatever. But if I include some pasta, which isn't the best option, but like in moderation, it's not really that bad, then I think I would be more excited to eat the leftovers. So it's kind of one of the things I've been thinking about for next year. I think a lot like something like tacos. Like I always thought, well, the tortilla is really bad. Well, no, if you track the calories, it's really not that big of a deal. So like just make the tacos. You know what I mean? I'll flip you around so you can stare at me instead of at the, uh, at the stove. Um, I have my AirPods in listening to a podcast because I don't know what, the volume on my phone is being really weird. Anyways, I'm not also focusing on calories in the first month. So quarter one is all about cooking and like streamlining my eating, but really in January, I'm focusing on the cooking aspect of the cooking routine. So getting that down and then I will turn to more like maybe tracking the calories and making things slightly healthier. Right now, I'm just trying to eat out less and get better at cooking at home and enjoy cooking at home. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I've already had a pretty productive morning. I woke up, I had some coffee, I finished editing what I didn't finish last night, got that started to upload, exported and then started to upload. I responded to a bunch of comments. And now Sam just left for a networking meeting and I am gonna open up my advent calendars and then I'm gonna work on my December daily because it's still pretty early and I have a decent amount of time before I need to start getting ready for work and since I didn't do any of it last night and I already, I do feel like I'm getting a little bit behind at this point. Um, I, I do, I do. I just feel like I'm getting behind and I'm, I think I've made peace with going out of town and not taking anything with me and being done at like day 20 when I had to go out of town, but I need to be like caught up to day 20. So I'm only coming home and doing those five days while I was gone. So uh, I think I'm gonna do that for a little bit this morning. Part of it feels like counterintuitive to me or like counterproductive. I'm not really sure what the word is. I haven't had enough coffee. Um, but like, I feel like, should I really be crafting in the morning? Like, is that a good use of my time? And yes, the answer is yes. Like, it makes me happy and I'm gonna do it in the morning. Like, yeah, there's probably something I could edit. Yes, I could get to work early, but like, this is gonna give me a really good start to my day. Okay. Let's open up the advent calendar. Oh, I didn't end up making any tea last night either, so I still have this Tranquility one that I didn't make last night. Maybe I'll make that tonight. And then I have the one I opened last night, this one that I think I am going to take to work, unless something else today is even better. Okay, so today is the 18th. Da, da, da. Green passion fruit. Fruit, tangy, and refreshing. Low caffeine green tea. 
I mean, that sounds good. The passion fruit again sounds a little bit tart, but it says refreshing. Um, that definitely doesn't sound like what I need today. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the 23rd, right? Because we're working backwards here. Ooh, this sounds good. Valerian, come on. Valerian Nights. Game of Thrones, anybody? Calming Caramel and Coconut. I don't really like coconut, but I love caramel. Herbal Infusion. What's the difference between an herbal infusion and a, a tea? I guess the Valerian Root, maybe? Might have something to do with that. Hmm. Hi, Charlie. That one sounds really interesting. But I think I'm going to stick with that Santa one today. Today for work. Okay, and the disaster of a Hogwarts one. So day 18 down here in the corner. If I had to guess, this is the last of the notebooks. Yeah, it's the Slytherin notebook. Look at me. I'm pretty used to it now. There's got to be one more notebook, one more sticker, one more eraser. <laughs> they did everything for all four houses, which I appreciate because, I mean, you wouldn't want your house not to get a certain product. But at the same time, like... What am I going to do with all these things? I, I mean, I know somebody from every house that I could send it to. All right, then I'm going to do the 23rd, which I do not see anywhere on here. Uh, okay, we're going to do the blank one then, the one that has no number on it. We're going to assume that this one is the, supposed to be the 23rd, and it just didn't get printed properly. And it's the Gryffindor sticker. Gryffindor. Okay. Still no Ravenclaw sticker, but now we have a Gryffindor sticker. So my workspace is a disaster, but I did get a lot done. I The things I didn't finish are, yes, not yesterday's, Monday's, and I'll explain why when we get there, as well as all of the writing. I didn't do any writing today. I just, I was listening to a podcast while I was working on this, and I didn't want to pause it and have to, like, to write, I feel like I, I need my brain. I can't be listening to a podcast at the same time. The crafty stuff, I can be listening to a podcast. So I didn't do any of the writing, but I did all of the crafty stuff. So here is day 11. I added this little number here. I added this hexagon. Well, so first I added this hexagon over here in the corner, partially because there was just a blank space here. And I just felt like this was a, a great sentiment for this evening. And then I added this hexagon to sort of offset the hexagons. And then here is the two-page spread about my grandmother. And this one was very hard to do, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really love it. So I talked about this in last week's vlog. I tried to scan them in at work and then get them printed, and the quality was terrible. It was awful. I don't, I don't even know what happened. So what I ended up doing was taking a picture of the picture with my phone and then sending it in. And I didn't even take the picture under like studio lights. I just took them at my office. So I'm, I mean, the quality turned out really well, just FYI. And then I didn't have to use the original photos. So originally I was going to include some more journaling cards and talk about things, but I just loved all the pictures. And I decided that having more pictures was more important to me than having a bunch of words. Um, so I knew I wanted to include this one and I will eventually write something there. And then this was the only really horizontal one. Well, this one was horizontal, but I cut somebody out. <laughs> you go watch last week's vlog to see who that was. And so this one kind of was going to fit here. And then the rest of these could be little pictures. The other thing I really tried to do here was really only use green or white because that was my grandmother's favorite color. So I used green everything. So this one was obviously very perfect. Um, I added this green heart. I tried to add another little green heart, but it was really, really, really little, and it slipped through the staple. So there's a staple underneath the sticker. So I added this sticker to cover up said staple. And then I added this like circle chipboard piece going halfway off, and then I added the year, so I would know what year this picture was. I didn't know which year this one was. I probably could ask my mom, and she probably could have told me, but I didn't bother. Mm, I might go back and add that later because I feel like it would be helpful to know what year it was. But this one I did, and then I added this family rubber piece. And then I tried to replicate that a little bit over here. So I put this Joy rubber piece, and then this was from New Year's 2000. So I added this little star with the it, this was like a whole flag that I cut down and then I tried to fit the whole 2000 here to look like that one But it did not fit. So I just ended up putting the zero zero I figured if anybody goes back and looks at this like It's clearly not the 1000 and I would be really impressed if this makes it to 3000 You know what I mean? Because I feel like the reason you put dates is so that when people go back and flip through this like my children my grandchildren whoever like they know what the date 
was and like there's no way that they would get confused about a thousand right <laughs> like it that's obviously going to be two thousand and then this picture i just added this little memory sticker i didn't really want to cover up a whole lot in this picture because i i almost put something here but i really wanted to be able to see her china cabinet i just felt like there was so much going on in this picture that brought back so many memories i just wanted to keep it there and then i love this picture of us um, on christmas morning coming out of my room and seeing the tree for the first time so that's where i added the number and then this hello christmas and then this one is not really like christmas or new year's related but again it was the picture of me crafting at her kitchen table and she was really the reason that i love to craft she definitely cultivated it and inspired it in so many ways so i really wanted to include that picture in this layout and then the book one all i did was add this little um, bring on the Mary sticker and then over here so partially I realized that this is a lot of space to journal about books I haven't even read yet and I had no idea what I was gonna write on them um, so I did a little bit of crafting however this is why you shouldn't add things until you've done the other side because I wanted to staple these clear things but then it would go through to the other side and I couldn't peel this off without ruining it so I ended up for the green one, I put one adhesive down here under the gold section. And then on the 13, I have it hidden behind the numbers. And if you look really closely, you can see it, but from far away, you can't tell. So now I just have like this little bit of journaling space to do about the books. And then you saw all these pages already. We already did 14 and 15 complete. 16 is the one I haven't finished because I do want to take one more ring shot in front of my office tree. And I'm going to do that today and then get that printed to fill in the space. And then this is going to be just a page about ring shots. I just, I love including this since this is our, you know, engaged holiday season. Although I guess we're going to have two engaged holiday seasons. And then yesterday was our holiday gift exchange and ugly sweater party. And I took two different photos before I left for work. I took a selfie and then I also took a self timer, like full body shots. You could see the whole sweater and I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I actually got both of them printed and then I decided to just use both because truthfully, I didn't have a whole lot to say about this day. I have a little bit of space here that I'm gonna write a little bit of something because the picture pretty much says it all. Like it was a holiday gift exchange and an ugly sweater contest. So I prefer to, to include both pictures. Um, so I added the little number here. Um, some other miscellaneous stickers, and then I did this little circle um, collage because I really wanted this one, so I had space to write. I really liked this one because it said gift giving and it was a gift exchange, and then I pulled in the Santa because I wanted one that was sort of the in-between sizes because there's all three sizes of the circles. So that is what I got done this morning. I'm pretty happy with it. I have a lot of journaling, like actual writing to do, and then I need to finish this layout. Otherwise, we're caught up. The plans are changing again. I know you're surprised. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my nails done today. I know it went from being on Tuesday to then Thursday and now it's on Wednesday, but I seriously chipped one and I was like, you know what? I just wanna get them done before I film anything this week. They're just they're just that bad. So I called in the middle of the day and asked like what their availability was for tonight and they had time to squeeze me in. So I'm going tonight and it's gonna just feel so much better. I have a lot that I wanna do tonight. And then I also want to get to work early tomorrow because I have a lot to do at work in the next two days before I'm gone for two and a half weeks. We have a big project thing. I can't say what it is because we have, in case somebody from the company um, watches this, which I don't think they do, but if they did, I can't say anything about it, but it's supposed to launch before I get back. And um, so I have a lot of work to do to finish some of my pieces of it before I leave. So there's just a lot to get done. So I'm going to kick it off with getting my nails done tonight and then come home and start powering through a to-do list. I also need to do our Christmas cards tonight. I just have a lot to do. I'm going to sit down because there's one thing I did want to want to tell you besides just that the plans changed. So one of the things that I have been wanting to do for months, if you watch my goals videos, is catch up on my podcasts. Um, I was in a really good groove at some point last year and then I just sort of fell off and then I got so behind that, and then it just felt super overwhelming to then try and catch up. And I knew that one of the best options for listening to my podcast were on my commute. I have been watching a lot of Vlogmas on my commute. I have YouTube premium so I can download YouTube videos. And so I've been doing that a lot on my commute, but I also knew that I wanted to start getting caught up on my podcast so that I could enjoy it in the new year. And this is just something I want to do in general is listen to podcasts on my commute. Not that I don't think that the YouTube videos I watch are valuable, but I think the podcasts I try to listen to are, are more valuable. So I was trying to think about a way to like initiate it. Like how can I make sure that I go to listen to a podcast as opposed to click on a YouTube video or play a game on my phone? Part of it, I deleted every game except for one on my phone. <laughs> so that kind of helps, although it's kind of sad and I miss games. But 
I think that that's part of helping it. The other thing that I decided to do is there are two, there's a morning podcast and a night podcast that is uploaded every weekday. I'll tell you what they are in a second. And so what I've decided to do is when I get going in the morning, like when I leave my apartment or when I get on the train, sometimes when I leave my apartment, I'm still doing something on the internet like while I'm walking, whether it's like responding to comments or responding to a text or whatever. But when I get on the train, I start the morning podcast, which is the Patreon podcast from Amy Landino. So I've mentioned Amy before. She does have a Patreon where you can pay monthly and then you get extra content from her. And even the lowest level, which is I, mm, $4 a month maybe, you get a daily podcast Monday through Friday. Sometimes it's as short as two minutes, but what I think it will do is instigate me on the podcast app. And then once I listen to that, I'll just click on another one. Same thing for coming home. And the podcast that I like to listen to when I'm in a groove on my subway ride home is Skim This. The Skim is a daily email that recaps the news for you, um, current events, etc. And they have a podcast that they upload about current events the same day. So like today on the subway ride home, I was listening about the impeachment trial. Like that was what was they were updating on, which happened today. It's very awesome the way that they do that. And again, it is usually about 10 minutes, which is shorter than my commute, but it gets me on the app and going. So a part of me was gonna wait until the new year to like try and implement this. And I was like, you know what? No, just start doing it now because it, it it's, just start, just start doing it now. So that's what I've been doing the past couple of days and it's been really great. I feel like I'm getting value out of my commute. I feel like I'm updated on my current events and powering through my podcast. And then the best part is just because I'm in this podcast groove, when I get home, I have found myself putting on podcasts while I do things instead of um, like YouTube or Netflix was really my vice. I was putting on like Friends or Gilmore Girls while I was doing something like cooking or cleaning or whatever it was I was doing around my apartment that was mindless. Now I leave my headphones in and I listen to podcasts and I have like, I caught up on two. I caught up on Laura Casey's podcast and I caught up on by the book. And then I'm sort of alternating between Amy Landino's and Ingrid Nielsen's podcasts. And then there are a couple other ones that then I'm going to, I'm going to move on to those afterwards, but I'm working on it. I'm working on getting caught up. And then hopefully, I think a lot of them are taking a break for the holidays. So by the time I get back in January, I hope to be fully caught up and then enjoy them every week like a normal person. All right, my nails are done. I went with red. I figured it would be very holiday festive. Um, I am planning to get my nails done also while I'm in Chicago right before I leave for China. So I'm only gonna have them for literally Christmas. And then I'll switch to something probably a little bit more neutral slash New Year's festive. So I decided to go with red since it wasn't going to be like you know, a super long time. I thought I would go ahead and I'm going to open up a package with y'all. So if you watched two weeks ago's vlog, I don't know how many vlogs ago it was. We went to Ulta and I used my 20% off coupon and she handed it back to me and I was like, oh, I bet I can use this online. And there were a couple things that I couldn't find in store or that I forgot, like my powder. So I was like, I'm just going to place an order online. Well, the good news was... The coupon still worked, so that was awesome. I got 20% off my order. The bad news was the two stick foundations that I wanted to get were not available online either. So I don't know where I got. Well, I must have gotten the ColourPop one from like the ColourPop website. And then I thought I got the other one at Ulta, but I guess not. But I went ahead and placed my order and I stocked up on some essentials or some things that I use all the time. And then I hit free shipping. But basically almost everything I bought in here is a repurchase. So I got more of my eye makeup remover, which I got and when I went in person too, but that was like kind of the last thing I used to hit free shipping. And then I got two, everything is all bubble wrapped. I got two of my face powders that I liked so that I could just go ahead and stock up on those. I usually go through about one a quarter, give or take. And Maybelline was buy two, get one free. So I went ahead and grabbed this Maybelline liquid eyeliner. I'm always down to try a different liquid eyeliner. I'm not super picky. Like, it gets in the corner of my eye. It's not perfect. I just get over it. And then I grabbed some of my favorite nail polish top coat for when I do get back to actually painting my own nails and stop paying for getting gel. I talked about this in another vlog, but I will get gel for when I travel. I'll splurge for traveling so that it's like it won't chip and I am just, I don't worry about my nails and I don't pick at them. I'm an ex-biter and I like to pick at my nails. When I get gel, 
I leave them alone. So I will splurge when I'm traveling for more than a weekend on gel, um, which has been a lot recently. So then I went and picked up one of the Wet n Wild foundations that I really like. This is the Photo Focus Liquid. I don't use this all the time because I just like a liquid, the liquid's a lot of work and I don't like to travel with this because it's glass. Um, but I will use this if I'm filming a lot of front facing videos or I'm going somewhere with like a lot of photos. It just, it, it does look very good on my skin. It's just a lot of work. And then while I was in the wet and wild section, I decided to grab some more of the liquid lipsticks. I have to, I feel like I've mentioned them before. I love the wet and wild liquid lipsticks. I think it's a really great price. It's a great formula. Like the only problem I've had with them, sometimes the the applicator gets messed up very easily or it's already messed up when you buy it. But again, for the price, it's hard to beat. And then Wet n Wild was having a buy to get one. So I threw some colors in there. I grabbed a backup of one that I know that I love that's almost gone and that's just the neutral. It's like a, it's called Rebel Rose. It's just like a very good mauve color that I like to wear to work. And then I threw this nude one in there, but it looks a lot more, I don't know, gray than I think I thought it was going to be. I'm gonna open it actually and try it out. Let's just try it on camera. Mm. It's a lot more nude than I really typically like to go. I just don't feel like that looks good on me. Mm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really a big fan, but it could be considered the one oh, ones I got free, I guess. I'm gonna take that off with this tissue paper. Um, and then I got two bold colors. So I got one that is Missy and Fierce, and then I got behind the bleachers. I'm gonna go ahead and open up these two to check out the colors. They looked good on the like sample on the screen, but who actually knows how they're gonna look because I thought the nude one looked cute too and not a fan. Let me know in the comments. Do you typically wear lipstick? What's your go-to color of lipstick? Okay, so this is behind the bleachers. Maybe I'll just try it on my hand instead of putting it on my... So it's kind of more of a brick red it's not super brown though but it's like it's a, got a little bit of brown to it it's not super it's not like a blue red and then this one missy and fierce like getting this open for the first time is like a true true red basically the color of my nails i already kind of have a lipstick of this color i have the jeffree star one that i really like um but you can never have too many red lipsticks especially this time of year and then, because I only found four lipstick colors that I liked, I had one more like get one free from Wet n Wild, and so I decided to try their stick foundation since I didn't wasn't able to grab either of the other ones. So I picked the color, the same name as the liquid foundation that I get, but I'm not, it looks like it might be a little bit too dark or a little bit too yellow. Yeah, it's a little bit dark, but I'm also super pale right now because of the winter, you know winter winter time things so we'll see we'll see if i like it. it went wild none of it's all that expensive it's all very very reasonably priced so i don't i don't feel that bad and i hit free shipping so that's my ulta order okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is cook because i'm starving and we have three hello fresh meals still to cook i i should oh, i didn't plan that well and we got a box this week and we really didn't need it uh because i have lunches a lot this week so i have leftovers already and i have lunch lunches Thursday and Friday. So I'm going to cook tonight and then I'm thinking I'm going to figure out if I can stick one of these in the freezer and if it'll last till, till we get back. I may have to replace the produce or a dairy product, but I'm going to see. I'm going to look at them and then I'll probably cook one Friday before we leave, but I need to make sure that it's one that like I'm going to eat because I don't usually eat the whole portion and there's no point in having leftovers. We leave Saturday for two and a half weeks. So I need to look at the fridge and figure out that food situation, but that's gonna be the first step is feed me because I'm starving. And then I'm gonna tidy up the room and then I will consult my to-do list and see what's next. Guys, I changed my mind. After, you know, sitting and scrolling on my phone for 20 minutes and then I finally got up and started looking at the recipes and I was like, man, I'm really hungry and I don't really wanna wait 30 minutes to cook one of these meals. So I'm microwaving my leftovers from yesterday's meal. I just, I'm too, I'm too tired and hungry to deal with cooking tonight. So I'm gonna look at the recipes again. So I'll probably end up cooking tomorrow and Friday. One is quesadillas and that I feel like I don't need to eat half. Like I could probably eat the whole meal of that. And then there's two pastas, both of which I think would probably freeze well, truthfully, because I don't need to freeze the pasta, right? The pasta's fine. It's just a matter of the produce and then the dairy. I think those will freeze just fine. So I might only end up making just the quesadillas. 
we'll see. But tonight, it's leftovers. Holy mail, Batman. I just got home to four packages. Okay, I didn't get home to four. This one was at work. This is my Kirstie and Designs Black Friday order. This is from Personalization Mall, but I don't know who sent it. This is from Harry and David's. I don't know who sent it. This has a return address of my college roommate and a fragile sticker on it. So, I don't know. I don't know what is in any of these. I'm so excited to open it. It's like an early Christmas. So I am gonna get comfy and, you know, unpack a little bit, take my coat off, and then open all these presents. All right, I had to get the lights off to film anyway, so I figured I would just go ahead and get them out early. So I went ahead and undid all the boxes, like undid the tape, um, so that we wouldn't have to do all of that on camera, but I didn't actually like, open anything. Okay, so I found on Harry and David that the, the like gift card was actually on the outside and it's from my grandparents in Florida. So my stepdad's parents live in Florida and they have started sending me stuff like directly here instead of sending it to my mom's, which I totally appreciate. So this year they sent a Harry and David box and it is, oh, the under box is all plastic up as well. I hope that this is not super, oh, I should, probably shouldn't have put it. I just realized that we're leaving tomorrow. No. We leave Saturday, not tomorrow, but we leave early Saturday. So it feels like we are leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last day to do things. So hopefully we can eat this in one day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's cookies. It is like a tray of holiday cookies. Sam and I are pretty impressive when it comes to sweets. So that can definitely be completed between today and tomorrow. I have faith in us. So that was very sweet. I will have to send them a thank you. Um, all right, the personalization mall, which is actually somewhere that I love to shop for gifts. Um, and so I'm excited to see what this is and who it's from. Let's see if I, there's a coupon in here. Oh, this is from my aunt um, and uncle. So also my stepdad's family. I got multiple things from my stepdad's family um, in the same day. My aunt is also my sorority sister, which is really cool. I'm so excited to open this. It's so good. I was hoping it was going to be something engagement related. So it says on this side, Lakin and Sam, our engagement it has the date on it. And then on the back, it's got our picture. That's so cute. I love it. I love that it has the date. I was, cause I got the one at the market in, um, the Carolina Inn that had the year, but it doesn't have the date. And then this one also has the picture that we took the day after. Um, we have a cute picture from the night of that I do like, but I was ugly crying. And so I don't necessarily love that picture. And we don't have one where we're both looking at the same camera. We have some good ones of like one of us looking at the camera and our smiles are great, but I have clearly have like a red nose and like had been crying and we're not looking at the same camera. Um, anyways, I wanted to take one the next day. That was, we were both looking at the same camera and I hadn't been crying. Um, even though I think I still cried before that photo because I had to say goodbye to my other parents and that was awful. Okay, now the giant box from my college roommate that said that it was fragile. So there's a huge bubble wrap thing. No idea what this is. Like can't, like the personalization mall, like saw the size, kind of could have assumed it may have been an ornament. Harry and David's, I mean, Christmas time, Christmas cookies. This, no freaking clue. Also, it is wrapped so well, which I mean, is obviously a good thing because it, I think it's fragile. I am struggling a lot with this. I got the first layer off, now to the second layer. And I like, yeah, I could cut the tape, but there's so much freaking tape. Jesse, I don't know if you wrapped this or if another company wrapped this, but holy freaking camoli, okay. Layer three of bubble wrap. Now we're down to smaller bubble wrap. And then I think it's wrapped, y'all. I think under, that's why I can't tell what it is because underneath all of this, I think it's actually like a wrapped present. Was there a card in here that I should have opened first? No, I don't think so. Part of me wanted to make sure it wasn't for Sam and I <laughs> because then I would feel bad that I un like undid this all. Oh, there's a card in here okay it feels like a picture frame so i think we're finally getting somewhere oh well, the card says like it and sam i should wait i should wait for sam i'm sorry y'all i promise it will be part of this vlog 
I just have to wait till Sam gets home before we can open this. But it feels like a picture frame. It's all wrapped up, but it's addressed to both of us. So I'm gonna wait for him. All right, now onto my Chrissy and Designs order. Now, there was something else in this box that was for a different video, which will already be up by the time this vlog goes up. So to go check out that video, it was yesterday's sticker video. Um, but this is actually the order except for this. And I also haven't opened the card yet to this one. So let me, let me open the card. Look how cute this is. She drew bacon on the outside. Also look at all these talented letters that I have. Look at, look at all this. I'm very impressed y'all. I'm very impressed. Oh, how cute is this card? That one doesn't say like an Ann Sam. So she said some sweet things um, about she was able to say congrats in person because Kristen was actually there when we got engaged, which was awesome. And then she included this ornament and it said, she said yes, and it's in teal with the year. Oh, these are so cute. If you haven't checked out her website recently, she uploaded a bunch of these ornaments and they are, they come in any color and they have a bunch of different phrases that you can choose from. There are some generic Christmas ones. There's some like love related ones. There's babies, there's teachers, there's all kinds of things. And you get to pick the saying and the color and they're like etched in. So it's like a acrylic basically, and then it's etched in the the words, and then it has white on top. So super, super cute. Thank you so much, Kristen. All right, look at this stack of stickers, y'all. Holy camoly. I also got some washi. I've been waiting to order this washi because I didn't, like, I wanted it, but I didn't want to pay for shipping just for the washi, so I'm glad I finally snagged that. I ordered a lot because her Black Friday sale is incredible. And every $20 you spend, you get $5 back in a gift card. And I know I'm gonna buy from her shop throughout the year. So why not do it now and get all these extra $5 gift cards? So, all right, this is the December mini. I actually technically ordered on Cyber Monday. I didn't order on Black Friday. And then this was the Cyber Monday, Silver Monday, she calls it, uh, sampler that came with it, which is actually a sneak peek of all of the celebrations collection, which I, that video was already up. All right, so I got some of the workout stickers and I got them to match the various kits that you'll see throughout this order. Basically what I do is I order just whatever color of the workout stickers and then in the comments I say, can I get a column? This is like the New Year's kit, the Christmas kit, the Hanukkah kit. This is like the winter kit, the watermelon kit. No, this is the winter kit. This is another winter kit. I think that's what I did. All right, and then I stocked up on some of my favorite film and edit stickers. I went ahead and got the neutral ones because I found I found myself like not being able to match colors exactly when I use other shops kits. So I got some neutral ones. I got some more flight trackers. I got the pastel colors this time. I got these tidy up stickers. I got these stickers that I really like that she uses when she travels as like kind of a memory keeping thing. All right, and then I got this watermelon kit. Oh, well this one is out of place. We'll come back to you. All right, then I got these half box sets, which I got to match the colors in the Moxie Life Planner. So I did get them in the pastel, even though if you know me, I am a, not a pastel girl, I like bright colors, but I got the pastel colors because I thought it would match the Moxie Life. So I got the whole rainbow set, which she does as a set and get like it's a little bit of a discount if you get the whole rainbow set. So I got the half boxes and then I got these quarter boxes. The same thing in the pastel, all the pastel colors. I got, oh, look at all the, all the kits are kind of all over the place. So I guess let's organize the kits here. I thought they were all gonna be grouped together, but they're not. So we're gonna organize this. Oh, I went ahead and got the color sampler, um, which is free if you spend a certain amount of money. I can't remember what it was. I, truthfully, I didn't know. I, I put it in there because I wanted it and then I saw it go away at some point. Um, you can buy it for $2 or it comes free with a certain minimum, but it's just got all the different colors that she offers in a sampler and then a space for a pen test. All right, I'm gonna keep sorting out my, oh here, now that seems like they're all together. I didn't necessarily, I got almost the same things in each of the different kits, but not quite. And I'll explain that once I get them all kind of sorted out. Okay, and then I also got these little stickers, which I'm already messing up. These are sized for the petite planners, and I think I'm gonna use them in my petite planner monthly. So I got this size and this size. Um, I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do there, but that's why I didn't get these punched for the binder because I wanna stick them in the petite monthly. All right, so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in likely order that I will use them. 
Do, do, do. Okay, so well, I put Hanukkah first, but truthfully, that's gonna be the last one I used because I didn't get this in time for Hanukkah for this week. So this Hanukkah kit matches the Celebrations add-on from last year, which is still available on the site if you're interested. I got the full box, I got this functional box page and this functional box page, and then I went ahead and got the space for the bottom that says spin the dreidel and I will and I will use this for Hanukkah next year. So I don't need an add-on for Hanukkah next year, Kristen. <laughs> then I got the Christmas pages that I am planning to use in a plan with me basically as soon as I'm done filming. I did not get any of the washi strips for the bottom. Um, I figured I could just pull some of my own washi. So basically I, I'll get the full box and these two functional boxes and then sometimes I'll get a fourth sheet. But really these are kind of my go-tos. So again, functional boxes, full boxes, functional boxes of the winter kit. Um, which I will probably use sometime in January. I don't know why I put it before New Year's. And then New Year's, which I might not use the actual week of New Year's because we're gonna be in China and I'm not gonna take my planner. I'm not gonna use my planner that week and I wanna use this kit, but it says 2020, so I can't save it for next year. So I think I'm gonna use it like the first full week of the year, the week of January 6th, I think that is. Um, not technically New Year's anymore, but like, that's when I get home from vacation, so really it's my New Year's. And then I got this winter kit because I loved the colors. So this is the functional page. I went ahead and got this one because I loved this pattern. It reminds me so much of Frozen, especially like the col new color scheme from the new movie. And then of course the full box and the functional boxes. And then I got this watermelon kit, same thing. I got this, this washi strip because I loved the watermelons functional, full, functional. And then this kit is a little bit different. So this was one of the $2 Tuesday kits that she brought back for Black Friday. So the sheet layouts are a little bit different than these. Truthfully, I don't really know why she does that, like why she does a different layout for kits when it's the kits versus when it's the $2 Tuesday. But I got the full box, I got the checklist, which I, I will use a little bit differently than I used to. I got this sheet for the washi strip and then I got the functional boxes. So I have kits to last me forever and a day. And I also have gift cards now for forever and a day from Chrissy and Designs. All right, Sam is home. Now we get to open our present. I'm so excited. Jesse even texted me. She was like, did you get a package? And I was like, yes, but I'm waiting for Sam to get home before I open it because it had his name on it too. Okay. All right, well, I can't show you the card because there's swearing and I try not to swear on my channel, but it's a really cute card. Well, a lot of other that means it must be fragile. It had a fragile sticker on the outside of the box too. words because I'm literally like tearing up. This oh, is the is sweetest smile. gift. It's so thoughtful and so personalized. Look at Charlie. Okay, I can't get over Charlie. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I also totally forgot to open up the advent calendars today. I mean, it's pretty late, but it's technically still Thursday. So let's go ahead and open up Thursday today, which is the 19th. So we have, ooh, nutty, spicy, and sweet, forever frosty. It's a fruit infusion, caffeine-free. I feel like there have been a lot more fruit infusions this year than there were last year. That's just me. All right, and then I'm also going to open the 22nd. Oh, this one's a black tea. Ooh, spice cake, sweet caramelized citrus. It's a black tea, but it's low caffeine. That sounds really good. I don't need caffeine tonight, but that might be my morning tea unless something else comes out. Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just go ahead and open them all now so we're not doing this in the morning. All right. Ooh, hot chocolate. Mm. High caffeine. Oh, it's not actually hot chocolate. It's a puer tea, which was the same as the chai tea. Uh, okay, but this might be really good for the morning, actually with the high caffeine. Okay, and then the 21st. I think that's that's it. Oh, sleigh ride. We got this one last year. Sweet, tart, and spicy. It's a fruit infusion. Man, I feel like there were a lot more fruit infusions this year. So, 
In conclusion, I still really love this advent calendar. I think there were a lot of really great options. This year there were a bunch of coupons tucked away in the different buckets, which was really awesome. Um, I just, I mean, I think it's so much fun. I wish I'd been maybe a little bit better about using it each day that I opened it, but oh well. You win some, you lose some. So I, um, I'm going to tie this up for now. Um, I have something I want to do with, I have some extra, an extra set of acrylic drawers and I think I'm going to use it to store tea. So I'll come back to this to get the tea out when I'm ready to store it. All right. All right. What's left in this? This thing is just a disaster at this point. All right. We have a Deathly Hallows sticker. I don't even know. All right, we have this 21 right here. I'll try and prop it up a little bit so you can see. I'm assuming this is the last eraser. Yeah, mm -hmm. good job, Lincoln. This is the Slytherin eraser, which means that one that I wasn't sure was probably the Ravenclaw one. All right, I don't know why I'm trying so hard. I definitely don't need an eraser that has a snake on it. All right, and then this 20, I think is something that we haven't opened yet. Oh. This was over here, I think. This is cute. This is a little notepad with the Hogwarts emblem on it. And it's like, it's actually sticky. It's sticky like, I don't know, maybe a third of the way up. Oh, I just wasted two of them. Um, that's actually really cute. This is something I actually would use. So I'm happy with that. And we finally found the Ravenclaw sticker. I can get it out, yeah. All right, I don't have any idea what I wanna do with this, but it is gorgeous. It is silver. It's Ravenclaw, and I'm really excited about that. All right, what else haven't we opened here? Um, 19? That's today, another pencil, because we need another pencil. And let me guess, it says the same thing as the other pencil did. You know what? We're just gonna take the whole thing off and see what else we didn't end up finding. Oh, here is where the sorting hat paper clip was that we kept finding on days that weren't it. Um, let's see what else. We've got that pencil, the Lumos pencil. I think that's it. I think we've gotten everything out of here. Man, this uh, advent calendar has seen much better days. So I don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, I really like the playing cards. I really like the Elder Wand pen. I actually really like this little notepad. I like all the little house stickers. I mean, I like that I have mine. Um, we also have that platform nine and three quarters sticker too. So, I mean, it was pretty gimmicky and it was a lot of like school supplies really made probably more for kids, but it was cute. And then the wine box which there is no way I'm gonna finish before we leave. Remember when I was debating having a second one? Yeah, I haven't had one since. So there are six in there and I'm not having one tonight and I'm probably not gonna have six tomorrow night. I might have one or two while I pack, but like I'm not gonna have six. So I'm gonna have to finish these when I get home. All right, I am off to work. I just a little bit earlier than I normally go into work because I just have so many things that I've got to get done today before I go out of town for two and a half weeks. There's just so many things that need to get checked off and sent out today. So I am heading in a little bit early, hoping to enjoy the quiet a little bit and power through, get a cup of coffee, some caffeine, and um, enjoy this last day of work for a while. It's kind of nice, it's kind of exciting. I think I probably won't kick off the next vlog until tomorrow morning when we're headed to Chicago. I think I need tonight just to power through my to-do list and pack and get ready for our trip. A lot of things that I want to finish before we leave, so I think that's just gonna be my focus tonight. So you never see Friday night on a vlog, that's why. But that's gonna be the end of this one. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. For her, it, it is her kids that she tacked like to, uh, da, da, da. Let's get to the advent calendar. So, oh, just tripped over the lamp cord. So that's kind of one of my thought processes, thought processes. Excuse me. I'm trying to do this. How many times am I gonna say that until I know what I wanna say next? Oh, there it hurts. Um, I have been listening, or what, I'm not listening, which is a sh uh, sha, 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 sha. I just said like 14 things and none of it was recording. I got the color, the pastel.